Friday. We're back now in the kitchen with Chef Chris Hill from Bachelor Kitchen, and he's making his unique version of chicken and waffles. Where are we going to get started? I mean, I know, I know you you made a little plate a up little here, which is plate. It's calling me. But we, we've got to go back, back to the basics, back to step sure. one. So how do we put this all together? Um, well, I've kind of gotten the batter started, and I actually have some here because you want to let it sit for a couple minutes. Mm -hmm. But maybe I'll let you finish off. Um, you want all the dry ingredients? Okay. Already in here, I have some kosher salt, mm -hmm. uh, some sugar. That's some baking powder. Okay. Add that. That's about a tablespoon or so. Just about. You want me to eyeball this? Oh, yeah. Goodness. I don't and know. Is then, that about right? Okay. And here I have a couple eggs uh, whisked in there with some buttermilk. Mm -hmm. Add that butter, which is already melted. To this mixture. Yep. And then. Um. So tell us about your batter. What what makes this batter? What's going to make it stick? And what's going to make so it... a pancake versus a waffle batter? Mm -hmm. Pancakes are a lot fluffier, almost like you think cakes, right? Mm -hmm. Waffles are going to be a little bit crispy, and we want them kind of crispy and have a little bit more airy, uh, thicker texture to them. The way we achieve that is through eggs and also through the higher fat content, which here we're using butter because we're from the south, and that's how we roll. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, and also to this mixture, I added a little bit of vanilla extract and a little bit of maple syrup. Oh, so you already put it in the syrup, isn't it? Yep. And it's just going to kind of hang out. And once they're all mixed together, mm -hmm. you can add that bowl to this bowl. All of it. All right. And we'll have this batter, which we have right here. And you said you want to let it thicken? You, you just want, you want to let it um, kind of hang out and rest for a couple of minutes, come up to room temperature. Okay, so it's not like something you got to do way ahead of time. No, 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 maybe five, ten minutes or so. All right. And then if we're doing this the, the way I'm doing with the chicken waffles, you're going to take some oil. You don't want to fill your, your pan or your, your pot too high because mm -hmm. you add the chicken and it's going to expand and you end up redecorating your kitchen. All right, so the chicken, um, do you want to pre-cook the chicken before just, you put it in the batter say, and all yep. that? I have some chicken here that I add a little bit of spice to because when I do a fried chicken, I like to add a little bit of hot sauce to like the butter. You can use any piece of chicken you want or do you, yeah, it, should it be like, chicken breast? Keep chicken it healthy because yeah, it's some fried. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I like where you're going with that, though. Um, see, I have some chicken breast here, but you can use um, a whole chicken, uh, the legs, really anything you'd like. But yeah, I went ahead and cooked it off. I slow cooked it about 300 degrees for about an hour or so, really just until they're done. Mm -hmm. Let them cool off, so then you can actually add them to the batter here, which I'll probably do in the next segment. But the oil here, we're going to bring up to 350 degrees. Mm -hmm. And then if you're not quite sure, if your thermometer's not quite reading right, you can just add a little bit of batter and kind of test it oh, out. a little trick. And it should little. bubble up like it's doing right there. So when it bubbles like that, you know it's ready. Yep. Um, now, again, going back to the chicken, I see you also, so you slow cooked it for about an hour. Yep. And then you also season a little bit. What are the seasonings you put on there? Um, I just used a kind of like a Cajun seasoning, mm -hmm. um, like a little bit of salt, pepper, some, a little bit of cayenne pepper, a little bit of chili powder, some paprika, some thyme. Really kind of use whatever you'd like. It's really up to you how right, you Right, like because what's the trick? It? I mean, because sometimes you'll, you'll see chicken, it'll look great, and maybe the batter, the coating, mm -hmm. but once you get to that, then the chicken just has no flavor. Yeah, and that's the thing, too. If you're just going to fry chicken, my one piece of advice would be to brine it overnight. That way, when you fry it or you cook it, it keeps the moisture locked in. Gotcha. Here, we're going to slow cook it, so it's going to retain that anyway, mm -hmm. and then we'll just flash fry it for about three minutes or so. Okay. You'll see it'll be nice and golden brown like that, and nice. then we'll finish it up. So we're gonna, so so coming up a little bit later, we're gonna actually be yeah. uh, getting the coating on the chicken. Yeah, which is actually what I'll do right now. I'll okay. just go ahead and coat it. And then, it, so what happens? Then when, then the rest of the batter, then that's how you make the waffles. Yeah, just whatever's <laughs> left over. So All right, for the hey, that's a great way, you know, because sometimes you have you're doing batters and you're doing you're coating the chicken, and then you have that leftover tape to go to waste. So exactly. In this case, we're gonna turn that into waffles, and we'll have a chicken and waffles. That's right. And I just like a little it. Bit of I like maple it. syrup and. All right, so we'll, we'll keep the the pan hot. We'll keep the oil hot. We'll get our chicken coated, and a little bit later, we're going to fry it all up and make up. this breakfast feast. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. <laughs> all right. 